Are you measuring in centimeters? Okay. Marianne Zemanik and Alyssa Howell have been working together for six years. They share a curriculum, a classroom, and sometimes their thoughts. We finish each other's sentences. <laughs> yeah. Kind of scary. So if I have the time, what else do I need to have to calculate the initial velocity? Marianne teaches science. Okay, first of all, what's my formula uh -oh. for velocity? <coughs> oh. Distance over time. Distance over time. Now. Alyssa teaches math. At Quest High School in Humble, Texas, they've created an integrated math science curriculum plan. That's always been one of the major philosophies of the school is to teach with integrated curriculum because that's the way the world is. Tell me some things you need the time. The complete yes. time of the whole thing. The complete time, and then you need to measure. One other thing I didn't tell you, so I'm not even going to ask you to guess it. Ms. Howell said, y'all really need to measure fall time also. Because Integrating curriculum take... creates both windows and mirrors. Yes. Possibilities for students to see both a reflection of their own life experience and a broader view of the human condition. When students can connect with their curricula, deep learning can take place. They'll come back and they'll go, you've corrupted me. I cannot look at the world anymore and not see this. Mm -hmm. And so that's when you know you've made an impact, if you've made them see it in their world. Put your rocket on there. Pretty cool, huh? Starting with an essential question yeah, and beginning with the end that. in mind, teachers decide what it is they want their students to know and to be able to do at the end of the instructional unit. Here we go. Three, two, one. Teams often use a project-based learning approach and common performance assessments that offer opportunities for rigor and differentiation. Marianne and Alyssa's rocket project is a good example of this process in action. It's probably like 220, I think. We made paper rockets, and we've been studying rockets and compressed air for a while, and like what kind of factors affect the, how high they go and how fast. What's the measurement to the tip of the rocket? 37. We measure the rocket and then we send it through the photo gate which gives us the initial velocity and there's an equation we use and it's 0.5 mx squared and it goes on and on and on. But we figured out that, well, if you put that with the rocket then you get the exact same thing we do in algebra to graph it. 250. The math part would happen in the calculations and then the science part would be in learning how rockets work and then we learned about potential and kinetic energy and that all involved calculating it out and then understanding the physics of it and gravity and all that kind of stuff. One. In this integrated project, students are connecting learning from one class to another. I got 350. They're demonstrating their understanding through an authentic performance. Putting together the curriculum and the way people learn makes science and math come to life in these classes. And it makes our instruction much richer with a, an equation with three variables like velocities, distance over time. A science teacher would rearrange it and show a student all three equations and just expect them to plug and chug numbers. Versus if you teach with an algebra teacher, you understand that's not a good way. Mathematically, that's not sound. They need to be able to rearrange it on their own. And so it makes the disciplines not only tie together, but it makes your teaching so much stronger. I was really having a problem in algebra. I really, really was having a big problem. Then I went and talked to Ms. Zamonic, and she explained some things in a little different way from like a science point of view, which I understand better than math. So I got it. I understand it now. I was really proud of them today with their vocabulary. I go, mm -hmm. y'all remember, you have to have your start height. And they're like, oh, you go to the tip of the rocket? And, or somebody, and Adrian even said, oh, that's your vertical displacement. So I mean, their vocabulary is right on. Yeah, their vocabulary is right on. Students are still responsible for mastering specific concepts, skills, and vocabulary from each subject. But in an integrated model, they're given multiple opportunities to grasp and apply this learning. We could do the whole semester in search of. In search of. Because okay. in search of solutions, in search of this, and in search of that. Um, in search of who I am as a learner. So mm -hmm. they can do their learning styles right off with their Covey training. Okay, so in search of who I am, and that can be with the Covey, Covey stuff training. that they uh -huh. do in humanities. But we're doing in search of solutions for algebra since they're going to be solving their equations and systems of equations. And you're doing solutions like mixtures and... Yeah, because you're going to be balancing equations, writing chemical formulas is uh, pieces of it. Marianne and Alyssa get together each week to explore the separations and the intersections of their instruction.
We were talking about parabolas. How was it that she phrased potential energy? How was it that she phrased kinetic energy? I needed to know what she was telling her kids so they used the same phraseology, so I used the same vocabulary. So that whenever we're doing parabolas, in algebra you can ask, where's the vertex? Ooh, and that's so exciting to ask. Or I can say, where is your maximum potential energy? And that's the same exact question, but I'm phrasing it in a scsense, so I'm assessing two different objectives there. Hey, I like those different little rocket pins. <laughs> Students at Quest talk about the fun they're having as they learn. Teachers point out that the standards-based curriculum and performance assessments are challenging. I think that's a lot of people's fear, is it's all this fluff and there is no rigor, but that's all in the design. You, you can build as much rigor into something as you want it to be there. And what are those called on your parabola? Rigor. Your roots and your solutions. Excellent. For Mary Ann and Alyssa, an integrated curriculum is a highly effective way to teach. But there is always room for growth. Ultimately, we want to go to where we answer an essential question, but we're not there yet.